Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix these errors. So if you're receiving these errors, that is disconnect Steam authorization, disconnected ESE authentication time lock, disconnected Steam invalid, or when you launch the game, if servers are not showing, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to launch the game from Steam, not from the game shortcut or installation folder. So instead, instead of in launching the game from, like if you are trying to launch the game from the game installation folder or from the desktop shortcut. Uh, instead of that, try to launch the game from Steam. So launch the game from Steam and then check if that does not work. The next step is to run Steam as an administrator. So you can go to Steam, click on Steam and then exit. And then this time when you launch Steam, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to click on retry multiple times. So when you receive the error, you will see the retry option. So just spam click retry option and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to start or restart easy anti-cheat service. Now for this, you can type in services in Windows search box and then go to services. Now over here, if you find any easy anti-cheat uh, uh, service running, if this is running or if you find any other easy anti-cheat service running, so make a right click and then click on start or if you see restart option, click on restart. So start easy anti-cheat service and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to turn off close or uninstall VPN. So if you're using VPN, you can turn it off. You can even close the VPN software. If that does not work, you can uninstall VPN and then check. But for many players, uh, if you're not using VPN, you can try this and then check. But turning off VPN has worked for many players, so you can try this. Now the next step is to switch to different networks. So if you have any other network available, you can try switching to different network and then you can check. And if that does not work, switch to your phone hotspot. So turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then go to Wi-Fi over here. And if you see your phone network over here, connect to your phone network and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So instead of Wi-Fi, uh, you can use wired connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, go for wired connection use the ethernet cable to connect. Then next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time, make a right click on date and time, click on adjust date and time, and then make sure set time zone automatically if this is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on, and then click on sync now. Sync now is important. And once done, now go to time and language, language and region, and make sure your country is selected over here, and then relaunch the game still not working the next step is to perform power cycle now to perform power cycle first of all shut down your computer then unplug the power cable from the computer turn off wi-fi router wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router and then plug in the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then connect to your internet and then check next step is to run these commands these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Then click on yes to allow. And copy all these command one by one. And paste it over here. And then hit the enter key. Now, once you run all the command, restart your computer. Restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Allow the game exe file, all the all the exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Komodo, if you have Kaspersky, any kind of antivirus program you have, allow all the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now I'm using Windows security for Windows security users, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, then click on Windows security. 
virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So select all the exe files. Also, if you have easy anti-cheat, open this, select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel and go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Allow another app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder. Select all the exe file. Click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse. Select Rust client add i have already added again browse open easy anti cheat select this one open and then go add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to try google dns server now for this you can type in uh, open windows settings okay open control panel Go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center. Click on your internet, click on properties. Select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Select this one and then go to properties. And over here, make sure obtain an IP address automatically. Let this be checked. For uh, here, you can see the option which says use the following DNS server address. For preferred DNS servers, you can type in 8, then 8, 8, 8, and then for alternate DNS, I type in 8, 8, 4, 4. Yes. And then click on validate settings upon exit, and then click on OK. Close this, and let this complete. Now close this. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try this. So same location, click on properties. Again, select internet protocol version 4, IPv4, select properties. This time you can type in one, then it's one, 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 and then one, zero, zero, one, one, zero zero and then one again validate settings upon exit and then close this let this complete and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work again verify the game files me correctly go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working Uncheck IPv6, same location, click on properties, over here, scroll down, you will see internet protocol version 6, uncheck this box, click on OK, and then launch the game. Once you are done playing the game, you can enable it once again. So to enable it again, once you are done playing the game, you can always put a check over here and then click on OK. Now, the last step is to update Windows to the latest version. So open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update in Security, and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, still not working. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So manage uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the Game Installation folder and then delete the game folder. After you uninstall it, delete the game folder and then restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can go to Steam and then reinstall the Steam. You can install the Steam to different drive and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix all these errors. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.